So. We're talking with Matthew Lindley, who is a senior at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and one of the best in business winners in the student contest for the Society of American Business Editors and Writers. Matthew, why don't you tell us about how you uh, came to write your story about big box retailers? Well, um, it started with just sort of a routine sweep of, uh, you know, what, what were the economic indicators for Chapel Hill. Um, I was planning on doing a story as the assistant city editor of just doing like a sweep of, you know, unemployment, uh, the kind of sales tax revenue that the town was getting. And basically just noticed that it was really consistently lower than a lot of other cities in, you know, like I said, my story, uh, towns of similar size across the state. And it sort of made me... Uh, Look, wanted I wanted to look at uh, like it from an analytical standpoint. So I basically grabbed all the information off the website, the North Carolina Department of Revenue, threw it in an Excel sheet, and and just started matching up things that had that were within like uh, twenty thousand people or so population wise, and saw that it was just dramatically lower. And there was clearly something was happening here, and basically it sort of made me question, you know, what 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 brings in sales tax revenue, and obviously. The fact that there isn't a Target or a Walmart that's within Chapel Hill was a, was a huge factor. And obvious, I mean, I personally knew because I always shop at South Point or I always shop in uh, New Hope Commons. And basically, uh, it sort of clued me in that you know there might be something more going on behind the scenes regarding what's what's happening with uh, the big box stores. And uh, unfortunately, as the assistant city editor, I didn't have a lot of time to work on it and look on, and look at that stuff on my own. So it took a little while before I had some free time before I could actually look at it and you know in full depth regarding um, what happened with uh, the story coming out this this fall. And once you had formulated the idea for the story, how long did it take to report and write? Um, I started reporting in about September on the story when I finally had some free time to work on it, and uh, it took about a month to get people to actually tell me what I needed to know about it and to actually sort of, I guess, admit that there was, you know, a serious issue with bringing in a big box store to Chapel Hill. And um, I, as far as gathering the data, it took me maybe a day after having sort of a fe having a feeling as to what I was looking for after that. All right. Thank you very much.